welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. Caught me in a bit of a mess. Let's explain what's going on, where we're at at the moment, and what I'm doing, and what I've already done. So this is where I'm currently at for some sort of a layout. And then on this side, And then around the corner. So that stayed where it is. Asda's moved over here. The train track I'm putting a curve onto just to make it stand out a bit more. But I'm still trying to figure out how I want to lock it all down properly. So the first thing I'm going to showcase, I've redone the fire station. So basically I, oh, move that out of the way. I extended this bit to add a doorway and then basically put that building from there on top. Opened it all up, we've got interior inside there as well now. Got a desk, a door to go to the side. And it's a hell of a lot better. As I say, I love my little door at the bottom. So there's that. Then we've had a move around. So what I've decided to do, I'll start with the track, is I've stripped it all down. That is the amount of resources I've managed to reacquire so far just from doing this project. Not to mention, I've got all those bricks in there, which were the pillars for the elevated. The elevated was good, but it just didn't suit my city, shall we say. So this time I'm going for the embedded version, and then I'm gonna have the train station here. The police station has moved over to the end. So people will be able to walk around to get onto the train station again. I'll figure that bit out eventually. But yeah, so far so good. This is where we're at. So pub and aquarium and news shop and everything's all come over here. There is next to nothing over here. I have moved as the lock I said I was gonna. Uh, nothing's really changed over there. This bit's changed. So we've got the tower. Uh, road plates are gonna be getting sorted. We've got a curve coming into the train station. These odd shaped um, millses, for some reason, I can't fit them back in. So I was like, that's fine. I can destroy them and reuse it to mills, these bigger ones. Skate park's not exactly staying there at the moment. It's just a case of the skate park, the basketball court, the swimming pool. I don't know where to put them yet. So I'm working on the train station and the track, and then we'll go from there using up all the odd colours that I don't use. So the idea so far is, as you can see, I'm kind of embedding the track into the mills. So you've got a plate, then you've got the track on top, and then obviously tiling off the top of the track. Uh, I'm putting a strip on the edge there, so it's next to the road but yet it still mills properly. And then I'll be putting strips here, pretty much like I've done over here already. And I've used yellow because you're not gonna see it anyway when I tile it all over. All right, it's so just to show you what I'm doing. I put an underlying plate down to start with. Then I'll take this, I'll get all this plate from out the middle, leave the gray on the sides and then put them on top. Okay, so there's the track. You'll notice all the middles have popped out and I'll show you now what we do with them. So place it down. Make sure it's all down solid and in place. And then you come along with these. Pop them back into the correct places in the right direction as well. Uh, 
and then once they're all in you can push them together and then we'll grab two of these grab a few of these there's one to go there one to go there join it together so they clip together via the base plates and then they've just got that holding it together and then repeat all the way down all right so that's me done for tonight all that plate has been recovered all them tiles the track is embedded all the way down I've got to figure out this bend because I've never messed with these before but I've got a feeling that's going to come short which means that track has to come over another two studs which I really can't be bothered to do it's just took me ages to do that and then that's all the stuff that's left to be stripped so for tonight this is where we're at i'm at work tomorrow so maybe either tomorrow evening or thursday morning is when i'll be back on it so thursday morning it is and i've been having a little think while i was at work yesterday now i know that is off by four studs so i can't really do too much with that but what i'm thinking is if i was to accidentally have an overlap maybe then see what happens there but if we've got a bit of an overlap at least it means then i haven't got to strip all of this to move it over four studs uh, two studs just for that to match up i really cannot be bothered with that pain in the backside plus if i move it back there's not going to be much of a pathway for these buildings because all of these buildings i'm going to make the same as these so at least it's consistent all the way through okay so another change of idea with the track so if i have it where it comes like that i'm not bothered about the extra two studs i'll just overlap it i don't care but I don't like the fact that this part here kind of crosses across the four different base plates. So if I move that up a bit, I put another track there, finish that there, it just takes the three. So that just makes a lot more sense obviously it's not going to go on top of a basketball court or a pool i'll have to have a change around i don't know whether i'm going to be keeping those for the city or not yet anyway but either way that would be the more logical way of doing it and then have the train station just there yeah i think that's going to work so that's what I'm going to do first. I think, yeah. Right, yeah. I'm going to do that first, then strip them. See where we're at next. Okay, so while I'm good at posting on YouTube, like, hey, look, I've done it. I've mills this. Now I've got to use YouTube to try and figure out how to mills that bend because I have absolutely no idea. I'm like a Minecraft person. When it comes to curves and bends and stuff like that, I ain't got a bloody clue. Okay, so here's where we're at. I think I've pretty much got it figured out. It's not the way they do it on YouTube. I've just figured it out myself. I couldn't understand the others. Plus, I think I've gone wrong to try and do their version anyway. So, clipped it in, tiled it down. Couple of raised tiles just to hold it into place. And then it comes over to here, and then that's where the straight will connect on. Not too bad. I've got the first bit sorted, now I've just got to mills and sort out the rest to decide what I'm doing with them. Okay, so a few hours later, the track has been done all the way down here. And then I've just been working on this, and it looks epic. So I've got the extension, 
I've got the curve tiled down and then into the train station. That looks pretty damn cool. So let's test out the train. Slow down. Yeah, and just like that, it works. So I ran a couple of other tests, got the train station positioned properly, fixed that one down. So we've got a nice little bit of clearance here. Unlike what I did over that side, I put it one stood too far that way, so the train kept catching it. So that one has been pulled back as well. And we've got steps going up onto the platform. I'm pretty happy with that. I've gated around as well, so hopefully there's no jumpers to get onto the track. But still, tidied up a bit quickly. I've tacked all the road plates together so we can get some sort of a rough idea on what it's going to look like. I've got one, two more mills plates I need to build. Bloody flies. Uh, and then obviously I've got a mills plate that as well but I'm getting there slowly but surely I'm getting there okay so a few changes last night obviously I couldn't record it all because of how late it was but you will see now all the pathways are done well plated anyway everything has been millsed and plated I've left a big gap there because I'm thinking of doing like a little fountain or something but other than that, I'm pretty chuffed. I've even millsed the extra roads, which was missing. Uh, haven't quite decided what else I'm going to be doing yet. That obviously is going to be recycled, shall we say, into a fountain for there. I need a U-bend, shall we say, there. And obviously that one's going to be a U-bend as well. Uh, so... U-bends there, T-junks in there, so the cars can come down, loop, and go back up. So we'll see what happens as and when I can afford to do that. But in the meantime, I'm pretty chuffed. So what is next? Well, I think next I'm going to have a look at doing the paving just to try and tidy it all up a bit. Try and keep the grass bits going as well. But for now... I'm pretty chuffed with that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up on this part so you can see how much better it's looking. The layout is looking a lot better. So the pathways are going to be next to be sorted as well as these buildings. I'm not working on anything else until I've got these done. So that is my target. So make sure you tune into the next video and I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Bye. Bye.